Hey, thanks for tuning in to 79 Custom Jigs. Not in the cave today, kind of on the back porch, chilling out and getting some sun and stuff. Shouldn't be out here. I did the uh, uh, Lano Treasure Show uh, this weekend and uh, did a hunt for a bunch of silver and stuff. And as you can see, the allergies have got my eyes all swollen up and stuff and a little sniffling going on. But anyway, uh, just to kind of give you a view of my backyard, uh, Blue Bonnets and Lake LBJ. Can't ask for much better than that. Anyway, I told you I was going to be bringing out a new product this year along with my, my uh, uh, jigs that I, that I build. And this is it right here. This is a three rod rod holder that you can mount to a track. You can mount to your boat. You can mount it on your wall at home. It doesn't really matter. It does come with uh, these two plates right here. It doesn't come with the uh, with the track on it, just kind of demonstrating. It also comes with a bungee strap uh, to where you can hook your bungee in here with the entire knot behind it and loop it over your rods, put another knot in there to get the tension that you want and just slip it right in this hole. It'll keep them good and secure and everything. Uh, I, I tell you, whenever I leave my cove out here, I can't have any rods up in the air because I have to go underneath the low bridge. Right past there, I've got brush hanging down. So if I got any rods uh, sticking up, everything's got to come down. Really sucked. So all these rods will lay vertically uh, all down. If when you're mounting them uh, and you want to run your rods out the front, you can. Uh, when I had them on my Craig kit, I actually put the reel next to me and put another one about two or two and a half foot behind me, and I shot the rods out the very back back there, and that worked awesome. They travel good. I even left them on the the rod holder while I was traveling to go put to put the uh, Craig cat in the water, so they turned out really good. But got a couple adjustments on them. One, you just loosen that nut up underneath. You can pull it out. Snug it up. If you still want to get your rods farther away from you, loosen this one up just a little bit. You can oh, loosen it a little more, pull it out, snug it up, and there you go. Let me show you from this way how far you can get that sucker out. And then if you're on a track, what you can do, when I mounted it on my Craig Cat, I didn't have a long track to deal with, so I used little three inch pieces of my track as soon as I can get this off here, I'll show you what I did. So I was using the three inch track. I was using two of these. I'd mount one right beside me and I'll mount one about two, two and a half foot behind me. Or you can put it in front, doesn't really matter, but you're only using a small piece. And instead of turning my mount this way, I'd actually turn it this way. Snug it down. And then I've got my rod, I got my rod sitting pretty far away from me right here. So if I wanted to bring it in, I loosen it, bring it in, retighten it. Still want to bring it in some more right here. Let me get it loose. Sorry, going the wrong way. Push it in here. And then if you wanted to, it won't slide on this track, but you could actually slide it from here to here on this track because it's kind of bound up right here on the very bottom where I cut it. But anyway, very versatile. Uh, if you've never fished with your rods in a horizontal position, you're going to love it. Every time you, you, you cast and you forget that you have rods up in the air, you're going to hang up. You got brush, you're going to hang up. You know, it, it's just so much more convenient to keep them down like this. Really enjoy them. I think they're, I think it's a good product. Uh, I think uh, every fisherman ought to have one on their boat, their kayak, their garage, or kind of whatever. I think it does what you want to. Uh, I do sell these on eBay right now. Uh, there is a little bit of freight involved on eBay. They're going on Amazon in about 30 to 45 days. Uh, if you want a set of them uh, through YouTube, uh, I will leave my email address down below. Uh, do Venmo Cash App. That's about the only two I do. These are 39 bucks for the whole set, everything that you get. And uh, like I say, if you want to do YouTube, I'll ship them to you for free. I won't even charge you any freight on that type deal. Put comments down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you want to see more video on on a, or a demonstration or a little different than, than this. Uh, I do have a video cut on eBay where these are actually up on a pedestal that turns where you can get a really, really good look at them if you want to go on eBay. And to find them, you just put in fishing rod holder 79 custom jigs, and that should pop up right there. So 
Uh, anyway, thank y'all a lot. Appreciate it. If you hadn't subscribed, uh, please do so. Uh, we really, we really need your subscribers uh, to keep the channel going. Uh, hit the like button and uh, ring that bell notification for another video coming out. And like I say, I've got one coming out, another one coming out in about a day or two, and it will be for metal detectors. And you don't want to miss this one, folks. Thanks, and y'all have a good day.